Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So um, some of these I'm just finishing up and I wanted to share what it, the finished thing looked like. But also um, some newer projects that I just wanted to get it done because I want to send out some happy meals. So um, and things I've just been playing around with. So I just thought I would hop on and do another mixed plate embellishment. This is like beaded edition i guess <laughs> okay so let's start with the stuff that i had already showed you guys so this is the straw toppers so earlier i had used gold but i changed them up to silver because i think it kind of matched um the pastels better so earlier i had just shown you this part right where i glued hello kitty on and then this part goes on top of your straw but then i wanted to make a dangle so this is the dangle that i came up with so that's the first one this one um because it's Hello Kitty in red. So I did a red dangle. And then this one is Kuromi. I was surprised my husband knew, um, knew the name. I showed it to him and he's like, oh, that's Kuromi. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so that's the Kuromi one. And then here's a Pachaco one. And uh, my Melody. So this one, I sh had a different charm on it dangle but then I ended up changing it to this one instead I think it looks it matches more it looks sweeter okay so that's all of the um straw dangle things and then I opened up the um keychains and I wanted to kind of make a few to give away as happy meal so here's one that I made this one I actually changed it up I had because the heart was on here like this <clears throat> I had um had these dangles in between but I didn't like it <laughs> so I took it off and then I just added it on this side so anyway um <clears throat> so I have the Hello Kitty charm and then I have it's like two Hello Kitty heads and then this heart um I added on these stickers so these are nail art stickers that I got from AliExpress a while ago and I thought that that would be perfect to embellish the heart so it looked a little bit more Hello Kitty and um, let me just say this so this keychain is really cool but the thing i didn't like about it is that um the rod in the middle is kind of thick so you have to have beads that have a larger size hole so i only had certain beads that would um fit on it so i was kind of limited to what i could do but it kind of to me it kind of all matched hello kitty anyway so that's why i i still decided to make it but anyway that's the first one um this is actually the first one that I made. And I really like how this one came out, actually. I, I think I want, if I give it away, I want to make another one for myself. So this one, I just did a rainbow in pastels with a big bow on the top. And then I have a Hello Kitty here. And then I just have one more bead. I think it just, it's very simple, but I really like it. <clears throat> and then this one is a little bit more bougie. So um, I added, I did something similar where I had the bow with, pink and white instead and then I used this Hello Kitty silhouette charm that I just got I think from Denise and then this one um I added on the that really blingy bow dangle I think it came out kind of cute like that <laughs> very bougie and then <clears throat> the last one I made was a cinnamon roll one so I used the blue keychain and then I did something similar to the purple one except I added on the Hello Kitty head um, nail art sticker, but it also has the rondelles. And then um, I added the cinnamon roll charm. I think this one came out pretty cute. I'm kind of liking cinnamon roll more and more now. <clears throat> okay, and then the last set of projects that I have. So these are all like little plastic charms um, that you can get from Daiso. So I had them in my stash. I thought I had a bigger, a bigger heart. I got to go look for it. I'm pretty sure I bought a bigger heart. Um, this is the only one that comes in like a pinkish reddish color the rest are all clear but they come in different shapes so like this is a star one this is a full round one so I did I just kind of put things in there and just played around so these inside here are like those um queen and company they're like they look like little diamonds and I wanted to make a purple one. So I um, I went back to my stash here and I tried to find something that would match. So I think there was a few that weren't like red and blue. So I, picked, I tried to pick what, that one. I think it was that one or something. See how it has like kind of a purpley pink. 
Um, and I used that nail sticker on there. And then I just added in some charms. So each one I put like a couple beads and then I had it um, a matching color Hello Kitty charm. And I, I can use it like on a dangle or whatever. So I just, I didn't finish it because I didn't know what I was going to use it for. But I think it came out pretty cute. And then I did use a little bit of that, um, that Loctite glue on the edges so that the whole charm won't open up. So this is um, a similar one, right? Except the heart itself is pink or reddish pink. So I added on like, you know, colors that would kind of match. And then I added the Hello Kitty there. So this is how it, the difference this is the same color charms. I mean, crystals inside. But this one is a clear heart and this versus the pink heart. I kind of like both of them. I don't know. And then I added a Hello Kitty on there. And then there's the last heart. Okay, so there's the last heart. So I did go through my stash and I found some seed beads. So that fit inside. And then I added the Hello Kitty. And then some beads on the top. And then I did do some stars. So I found one star that actually fit inside the um, the star. So it's like a pearly finish in a really light blue and then a light pink. So I just put one on each side. And I was going to stick other like maybe seed beads and stuff inside, but I decided not to. And then this one, because it's two different colors, I just used the stickers from the sheet. And then I put one on each side for this one. Having her time focus, sorry. And then I added on um like a blue Hello Kitty. This one <clears throat> I just added in multicolored seed beads. They're very light pastel colors. Um, so I added on a pink Hello Kitty, and then um I added like a purple um, Hello Kitty bead. And then this one I had some pink, white, and blue. Um, what is it called? They look like candy beads, you know, like for. Like you would put on cupcakes. So I used, um, I thought these actually match really nicely. They're more glittered. And then I have the Hello Kitty there. And then the last one is the sphere. So this one, um, you can put more dimensional things in it because it's, um, you know, more dimensional. <laughs> and so I found one of my squinkies and I stuck her inside and I just kind of let her free float so she could move around. And then I added some seed beads in there with her. And so on hers, I put, because she's wearing yellow and teal, I use kind of yellow and blue for that one. I think it came out super cute. Anyway, so that is my, this is Daiso projects and this is just beaded projects. I don't know. Hopefully, um, if you have some of these things, you'll give it a shot. If you do, please let me know so that I can go check out what you guys came up with. Because I'm always trying to figure out like what I'm going to do with all the stuff that I bought. So sometimes if I see... Um, what you folks do with it, it kind of inspires me to bust out other um, supplies and try different things. So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Um, there is a, I guess it's like a challenge going around for the month of February where you craft every day. So to me, this is like two days worth because I did some yesterday and I did some today. So at least I have like the first two days of February covered. I don't know. Who knows if I'll follow through with it, but I just wanted to um, see if anybody else is doing that challenge. Um, I will try to link the hashtag below. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.